Well, the Predators took some time during their quest for the cup to honor the Waffle House hero, James Shaw Jr. Fans jumped to their feet with a rousing standing ovation during the first period of last night's jam-packed home game. Shaw also met with Preds coach Peter LaViolette and was given his own personalized jersey. You'll recall Shaw wrestled an AR-15 rifle away from the gunman after he opened fire at the restaurant a little over a week ago. His call for GoFundMe donors has raised more than $160,000 for the victims. A sad ending to the search for a missing kayaker. The body of the 18-year-old was recovered in Smith County yesterday. The teen was last seen kayaking with his father on the Caney Fork River near Betty's Island over the weekend. His father is safe and he helped with the search. Officials have not released the name of the teenager just yet. Bill Cosby's attorneys are preparing his appeal this morning. Meanwhile, the 80-year-old former actor and comedian is facing up to 30 years in prison. Meg Oliver explains how a meeting he had years ago with South African icon Nelson Mandela is coming into play now. Days after Bill Cosby was found guilty of drugging and assaulting a former colleague, the New York Post, page 6, revealed an intimate look at his reaction to the decision. This is what they wanted, Cosby said. The legendary comedian talked to the paper throughout both trials. They agreed nothing would be published until the verdict. Mr. Cosby, do you have any reaction? During the first trial, Cosby was offered a deal to serve under house arrest, register as a sex offender, and probation. Cosby told Page Six, why take a deal? Not when they want me to say that I'm a sex offender. I didn't do what they said I did. Over the years, more than 60 women have accused Cosby of sexual assaults. In addition to Andrea Constant's testimony, five other witnesses testified against the actor during the second trial. Today, we're, we're finally um, in a place to say that justice was done. Cosby is under house arrest with the GPS ankle bracelet until his sentencing in June. As he mentally prepares for incarceration, Cosby recounted his visit with Nelson Mandela to his former prison cell. I sat in that cell where he lived and I saw how he lived, what he had to eat to live and what he went through. So if they send me to that place, then that's what they will do. Bill Cosby faces up to 30 years in prison. He plans to appeal the verdict, which could delay his imprisonment for months or even years. Meg Oliver, CBS News, New York. Wireless providers T-Mobile and Sprint are planning a $26.5 billion merger. T-Mobile would acquire Sprint using stock instead of cash. If regulators approve the deal, cell phone customers in the U.S. would be left with a choice of three national providers. Tomorrow is Election Day in Davidson County. The big vote on transit is coming up, but there are a few other major races of note. On the ballot tomorrow, criminal court clerk, general sessions judge, sheriff, and juvenile court clerk. Be sure to take a look at the sample ballot on newschannel5.com. Just click on the election section.